whenever you guys are ready, can you talk through what you built? Sure. So I can go over the objective. Um, just let me know. Go ahead. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So here we have um, a gesture-based user interface. And the objective of the project was to create a system that would move away from the conventional mouse use of a computer and uh, use hand gestures for uh, you know experiments, uh, for example, in labs where you have like toxic chemicals and you don't want to go near computer stations. Um, or just stuff for fun, you know, games for toddlers, <laughs> things like that. Um, also people with, uh, uh, with uh, not the, the greatest motor skills, you know, they may not want to use a mouse and just use your hand. Um, so it's a system set up to sort of move away from the mouse use and use uh, hand gestures. Cool. Do you guys want to go over the inspiration maybe? Or we kind of came um, up with the idea? Yeah, so we were thinking about, uh, we knew that we wanted to do something kind of like computer vision on the FPGA, like on, on that side. Um, and then we meshed two ideas together uh, and it was like how to play a game with your hands or you know, like with some sort of color detected object uh, as opposed to using a mouse. Right. Uh, and the combination of the theremin example where we had two, we would have two cameras, you know, like an X and Y axis and depending on the hand placement, it would be a different sound. Okay. And so then the original demo was supposed to be that you could like like rock band demo, where having two drumsticks, <laughs> having two drumsticks, uh, you would be able to play you know like any combination of drum sounds, and then it expanded. We realized that that code was like really easy to make an etch a sketch with, yeah. um, so we did that. And then if you just replace like the drum sounds, you could technically play any instrument provided that you have samples for it. Right. So we can also play guitar. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I guess we're going to start with some kit samples here. Would you like to demo? <laughs> you, you go ahead and do it. So someone, someone's blue is in the way. Uh, I'm wearing white. The white is blue. You want to do it? There he is. <laughs> I'm a little bit closer. Just give me a more contrast. You can play sounds simultaneously, too, so you can hit both drums at once. Your jeans. My jeans. I'm gonna hit box on it. Uh -huh. and that's overlaid with the C graphics so we have four drums um, yeah. the colors are right now just drawn randomly based on every compile um, and we're detecting blue so whenever whenever it sees distinct blue um, it will line it up with the pixels that are detecting blue which will be the four drums uh -huh. and um, it will trigger the HPS to play the sound map to that drum so for example so now we switch to a, a guitar so each of these uh, uh, circles now represent a chord or a string on a guitar. And so if I shift it in the correct pixels, that's a chord, that's a chord. So maybe I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> we were giving it to random students to test. Right. And it was pretty intuitive. Like that was also like a small test that we wanted to pass. Right. <laughs> That would be the, the guitar demo, and then uh, we can we can have uh, a demo for etch a sketch. For etch a sketch, is pretty much a board that you know you can draw on. It's okay. Kind of clear the screen out. Um, so we also have an audio setup, um, and as we move the blue pixels across the screen, you can see that small boxes. We can do two, but we can just do one so it's easier for the demo. Yeah. And then to clear the screen, you press any button on the HPS. You gotta clear the screen. And every time we get a hit, you'll hear a distinct sound. That's very cool. <laughs> so you have pretty decent control over the graphics. 
That's awesome. <laughs> so you can you can stop the drawing by shrouding it with your hand. Yeah, yeah. by yeah. Blocking, cool. blocking the blue. Yes. Yeah. Or by turning off the video. Or by freezing oh, yeah. the camera. <laughs> sure. Very nice. So so presumably the video processing is taking place on the FPGA. Yeah. Is that correct? Color detection. Correct. Yeah. And are you driving the VGA screen from the HPS? The FPGA is driving it based off of an HPS buffer, and then the video in buffer would come from FPGA. Okay. So it's able to, I don't know how clearly you can see this, um, but if you were to zoom in, there's like a transparency feature where you can still see behind the pixels, like the video behind it. And that's oh, the, I see. Sure. Yeah, it's because the FPGA is producing like to, to the VGA a combination of the video pixels that it sees and the pixels that it draws. Which can be switched to be not transparent. Yeah. Okay, so you just made it. Zero. You're toggling between transparent and non-transparent. Gotcha. It's depending on what use you want to use the system for. The video driver supports not just putting pixels anywhere, but also mixing right. the two and put streams together. How cool. Just to add, so so we see that blue works pretty good right now with, with you know noise and, and things like that. This wasn't the case with when we were just doing red pixels protection. Yeah. Um, because maybe some people's skin tones uh, could be exact zag. Yeah. Right now. yeah. <laughs> my, my, my cheeks, depending on how much I run that day, and Zach's hair, I guess depending on the light that hit it, would uh, trigger red. Um, and, and for so, some reason, Zach's hair too, which yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Why. <laughs> hair is, I just learned it's red. It's, it's enough red. I guess because it's brown, like it, there's enough red in there. So the way that we detected, like, if a pixel was red originally, and uh, then it was switched to blue, uh, was that red must be greater than the amount of green and blue combined, multiplied by some factor, okay. uh, so that we would just play around with like Plus this. another calibration factor, so that when the image yeah. is black, it doesn't recognize any colors. Yeah. So you're not looking at the total amount of a color, you're looking at its relationship with yeah. Yeah. its relative magnitude as compared yeah. to other colors. Which was really helpful right. when we were doing like a solid color against that white background, so that was very helpful for testing. Um, or, you know, if you're wearing like a solid color t-shirt yeah. or something yes. like yes. yeah. What's doing the synthesis? The synth is just a wave file being played by the HPS. Yeah, we figured that we had enough like memory space. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a lot of different sounds on there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I went through and it's only taking like a fraction of a percent yeah. of a of the HPS cycle time to run audio. So yeah. the, the longest thing on there is like the minute twenty of the geometry dash background music. Very <laughs> nice. Here Very nice. Cool. Thank you. Very cool demo. And we have uh, one other demo to show. Okay. We made like a like a cool slash cringe slideshow. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we were able to use graphics um, on the HPS. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's not. <laughs> so, this is uh, our fun. Just our, a few images that we put <laughs> during the uh, testing <laughs> session. <laughs> 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 Very nice. <laughs> cool. Thank you all. Yeah. It turns out that it's not that hard to just upload an image to the VGA. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the way we're, we're doing, um, I guess, so anything that's black from the graphics, it's going to become transparent. And so the graphics, whatever is black, becomes transparent, and then the camera feed is played in the background. Okay. So you get that overlay, and that's how you get that image. Okay. And an RGB value of one 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 is close enough to black that you can't yeah, tell the difference. Yeah, that we can still draw most black. Most photos <laughs> don't yeah. have true black unless you go through an editor. Very cool. Very nice.